Hello and welcome back everyone to VBA to Z. Well, in our prior video, so we've been learning how to uh, send create a database and a table. And then in the second video, we'll learn how to append the data or write the data from MS Excel to database. And uh, we have also learned how to update the existing records uh, in the database based on certain criteria and uh, using SQL statement as well as uh, by looping through and uh, putting a condition and um, we have also learned how to sync the data from uh, database to Excel basically retrieving the data from views or through SQL statement and uh, VBA ADO codes um, in this short video I'll show you how you can delete and, uh, delete the data existing data in the database based on certain criteria and um, it will be a pretty similar method the only thing here is will be uh, tr trying a method of deleting the data so first of all I'll just write a SQL command so to generate that we'll create a query okay and delete query create and then query design this is the best way to design um, you know uh, learn your SQL how it uh, looks and uh, how it's generated so let's say that we want to delete the record that uh, where username is equal to user1 okay so I'll just uh, say select the name and then in the criteria I'll just put uh, user1 in single quotes and then I'm gonna come back to SQL view and then here it says uh, select okay so I'm gonna go back to my design view and then query tools and then click on delete and um, now I'm gonna go back and see my SQL view how it looks like it says delete this field from this table where employee name is equal to this so instead of field name I'll say star so basically it will delete the whole uh, line the, all the fields basically all these fields if the user name is equal to one so if there are more than one user it's gonna delete that so if I run this now it says you're about to delete one uh, record from this specified table let's go back here you see that it's all deleted so if I F5 from your keyboard or refresh so you'll see that it's gone so we're gonna just copy this uh, uh, you know run this from Excel okay so I'll just copy the first code that we wrote the connection string and everything remains the same so insert a module paste it here I'll call this delete data from database and uh, I'll just first I'll just remove all these um, codes that are relating to record set opening the record set I'll just park this for now so this is our code where it opens set the connection and opens here it opens assign the connection string and then open the connection close the connection and then clear the memory okay so let me just copy our uh, SQL statement and then I'll see I'll just uh, define SQL string dim um, xstr no SQL let's call this SQL as string and then I'll say that uh, x is equal, is equal to this okay instead of user1 let's call this uh, user2 now or let's say user10 we want to delete all the records that are user10 okay so here I'll say connection dot execute and then it's a command string so our command string is this one our um, sorry about that this is our uh, SQL string and then um, um, I'll just define one more variable dim uh, affected records count as long and then I'm gonna say that uh, records affected will be assigned to this uh, variable okay so we'll say debug dot print okay so I'm just gonna create one scenario here I'll just add user 10 twice just to see how it works so basically 
what it is doing here is we have to uh, uh, put in our SQL um, command here in this um, uh, variable and then uh, we are executing this command using this connection that we are opening here which is our database this access database and then we are getting how many records is um, deleted and then it will print in this screen how many records are uh, you know deleted okay so I'm gonna run this first let me refresh the database so we have one two records in the database that we want to delete because they are user 10 so here it says delete star all from this database where employee table dot employee name fill is equal to user 10 so let's run it it's done I'll refresh this so you see that user 10 is gone from here if I come back to my code you'll see two is printed here so two records are deleted so this is one way to um, delete you know um, the records from uh, your existing database this is pretty simple and uh, you can uh, generate this um, all the SQL statement from your database query designer is very simple or you can do some uh, reading for uh, SQL writing SQL statement and uh, commands is pretty simple okay and uh, now I'm gonna show you additional way of uh, another way of uh, looping to the records and uh, deleting them okay so I'll just copy the the code will use some of the code which is written here so I'll disable the SQL statement okay let's write a new code I'll just copy this and then I'll call this part 2 and then uh, I'll delete this and then I'll just remove all these unnecessary ones so basically I'm bringing in the table so this is opening the connection setting the record set and then opening employee table here so this is our employee table and then it's gonna open this table using this connection and opening in the optimistic okay so I don't need to have a command there so this is where we're gonna put our delete command here okay so delete all user let's delete user 17 now delete all user 17 from table call e mp tv okay so earlier we have written some codes uh, that loops through like this okay so we can just use this code so it's opening the database here and then uh, it's looping through all the records until it is end on file basically all the records that are there so we can say if rs employee emp name is equal to this then uh, we want to uh, delete that okay so this is the condition so it's after you know checking uh, its record line it's gonna delete them rs.delete and then it's moving next okay and then it loops uh, you know out uh, it continues till all the records are checked okay so let's try and uh, run this and see if it's uh, if it works so like I've said this is opening the table okay uh, it's log pessimist let's log this optimistic I'll just change the cursor type and um, so it's gonna loop delete uh, check if the employee name is equal to user 17 if it is then it will delete otherwise no nothing um, else do nothing okay and then it will move to next record set it will go up here and start you know 
going till you know it will keep on going one by one okay so let's run this we are expecting that all the users 17 here are going to be deleted okay so if you want to get the count we can also do a similar thing then delete the count as long and then we'll see that um, delete count is called the delete count plus one okay so let's see in the end we'll print out debug.print delete account okay so I'll just clear this off let's run our part two here I'm running it it's done so it's saying the two records are deleted I'm going back to database you see that this is deleted and then this is also deleted okay so this is how uh, it's very simple this is how you can delete your uh, records uh, in your database uh, in our earlier videos we have seen that instead of referring to table name you can directly put in SQL statement like uh, um, open a database uh, based on your SQL statement okay it's very simple so uh, if you've not seen prior videos please uh, go through you'll see something like this which is you know uh, instead of opening the whole table you can open a specific record sets okay uh, I hope you found this uh, informative um, I found this uh, very useful initially when I had to start um, working with external databases like SQL Server um, Access Database and then SharePoint Server and so on so this will help you get started because MS Access is pretty flexible though it's a small database it will help you learn all these um, things um, uh, you can visualize it, you can look at the table, you can look at the queries and the SQL statement. So once again, um, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and uh, follow us uh, on uh, other videos that will be coming up shortly. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and share the video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.